All right, so here we go. Here are the two products. The first key difference is this one is refrigerated, right? And this is frozen. So two big differences there, um, or the big difference there is one's gonna go bad in your fridge and one isn't. So this is about a 30 day shelf life and this will stay good for um, at least a year in your freezer. Um, it might get a little freezer burn if you open the bag and then don't use it for a while, but it should hold up pretty well. Um, also, you know, I chose the Denver Scramble to do for the comparison just because we're in Denver, but they do have six other flavors with different vegetables, but um, we're working with the Denver for this one. Uh, another big difference, they have some meat in theirs. Mine doesn't have any meat. It also doesn't have any cheese. Mine is totally vegan. It's all vegetables. And here we got to focus on, um, you know, cheese and potatoes. Uh, we also have no potatoes in here. Um, we got cheese, we got meat, we got potatoes. The only vegetables are onions and green peppers. Uh, one thing I really dislike is when companies skimp on the red bell peppers. They only use green because uh, green bell peppers are cheaper. Um, not here. We got red bell peppers. You can see this guy right here. That's not false advertising. That's uh, red bell peppers actually in the bag. All right. Last difference I want to talk about between these two is going to be price. Um, so this one is $2.49 for one serving and Rooster and Lark is uh, $4.99 uh, for one bag or, you know, $2.49 $2 for one cup, uh, $4.99 uh, for one bag of Rooster and Lark. Uh, let's take a look at the net weight. Um, this one has got three ounces of product, three ounces, one serving, one meal. And uh, Rooster and Lark, uh, we got eight ounces per bag, half pound of vegetables. Um, so in terms of, you know, dollars per ounce and just how much value you're getting out of each product, you're getting a lot more value out of Rooster and Lark. Um, and this is also going to be a multi-serving, uh, you know, item, right? The Just Crack an Egg, you use this once and you're done. Two forty nine, one breakfast, one person, that's it. Rooster and Lark, you know, you can get three, four breakfasts out of it. Um, some people tell me they get more if they just like, you know, one or two eggs and they just like a little bit of vegetables. Um, so it can really go a long way. You know, the other thing with this is uh, you can cook up the whole bag to feed your entire family, uh, you know, healthy, nutritious breakfast filled with vegetables. The Arita Just Crack an Egg, um, you know, only one serving, doesn't no, no breakfast for the family. You know, this is strictly a weekday item. You know, only one thing you can do with it, just crack an egg and uh, rooster and lark, you know, keep it in the fridge, use it when you need it. You're going to get a bunch of servings out of it. And I think that's uh, just a big differentiator uh, between us and the Arita Just Crack an Egg is uh, really the multi-serving, um, you know, element to it and uh, the fact that you're getting a lot more value out of each package. Um, so let's start opening them up and see uh, what they look like. All right, so we got the Just Crack an Egg. Keep that here so you can see what it is. And uh, here is how this one comes. So it's got the little pouches um, with everything and then you're gonna kind of add it back into the cup. So we got the, um, the cheese. We got a little meat here, some, you know, classic Orita ham or something like that, Jimmy Dean ham. And uh, these potatoes. These potatoes look a little watery to me. Couple green peppers in there, but uh, not a ton of vegetables. Um, so, you know, something else to keep in mind. And uh, let's take a look at Rooster and Lark. Let's see what we got here. So here's Rooster and Lark. I'm just gonna pour some out. And um, this is this is just vegetables, you know? Vegetables and seasoning. Um, this is kinda why I, uh, how can we keep the rooster in here? Well, he's kinda out of sight, out of mind. Well. Well, we'll leave the corner right here with the logo. Um, but you can see here, we got vegetables, you know? This is obviously very, very different than this product. Uh, we got some avocado right here. This is butternut squash. Red bell pepper. We don't skimp here at Rooster and Lark. Green bell peppers and onions. And this is seasoned with uh, cumin, garlic, paprika, and chili powder. Um, or chipotle, excuse me. But just a little bit of kick, not too much. So, um, you know, we're both in plastic packaging, but we got some excess plastic here, you know, three little inserts. Um, and before we cook it up, uh, let's take a look at some of the ingredients, the nutrition. Um, one thing I notice, I like that this product does, they talk about, um, you know, the um, various, you know, nutrition facts with and without the egg. That's something I don't have, which I think would be interesting to include, but, um, you know, we don't have that in mind. You know, one thing I notice eight grams of fat. Um, that's, that's definitely a little higher than, than most things I would certainly higher than rooster and lark, but this also contains cheese and some ham. It's definitely more of a savory, not health focused. Um, 
Sodium's a big one, 330 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot of sodium for a little cup, especially something where you're just gonna add an egg. Um, and you know, protein, we got uh, nine grams without the egg. Not, not bad with the meat. If you're into protein, this could be good for you. And uh, 15 grams with the egg. So we got a lot of good stuff going on there. Um, when it comes to ingredients, not bad, but definitely some things that look a little off, right? Sodium phosphates, cherry powder. I'm not sure what cherry powder is. You know, annatto for the cheese, but that's a standard ingredient in cheese. You know, a lot of these things are standard in cheese. Um, notice what's the last ingredients. The vegetables. Um, you know, potatoes, green peppers, onions. Those are the, the smallest ingredients, right? So this is not a vegetable-focused product, vegetable-forward. Uh, let's come over here. Let's take a look at rooster and lark. We're operating a uh, different different thing over here. Fat, only two grams of fat, right? Where's that coming from? That's coming from the avocado, 100%. Um, avocado is high-fat food. Um, protein, we're low on protein, right? We're just, we're just vegetables. Um, so we don't have any meat in our products. We need to be in a USDA facility for that. Uh, we're not there yet, but should I be successful with these, hopefully we'll launch some meat skews in the future. Um, you know, ingredients a lot cleaner, right? We're just talking vegetables. Um, uh, it doesn't get much cleaner than this. It's literally squash, avocados, onions, bell peppers, cumin, garlic, paprika, chipotle powder. And a uh, big win for us. Look at that sodium number, zero added sodium. Um, so we're just talking about something totally different here, um, you know, than these two products, a lot of key differences. Um, so let's make them up, let's cook them up and see how they come out. And uh, I'm actually gonna cook this up following the instructions for the just crack an egg. Uh, and I'm gonna cook this in the microwave. I've never done it before, but uh, I'm pretty confident it's gonna work out. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna do the same thing with uh, rooster and lark. All right, so the first thing I notice is uh, this one's a little bit more liquidy than mine. Um, it kinda shows you the different substance of the two products, right? This one's a lot more vegetables. So uh, I think for this experiment, I am gonna add uh, one more egg to mine, just so it's a little more liquidy and a similar consistency to Jimmy Dean. Or I'm sorry, to Orida, just crack an egg. First things I notice, this definitely came out brighter and yellower than mine did. And uh, I think that's gonna come down to the seasoning, right? In our bag, we have cumin, garlic, paprika, and chipotle powder, and those are just dark seasonings, and they turn the eggs a little bit darker. Um, notice, you know, no sodium in there. Uh, this one, it doesn't have a ton of seasoning, uh, maybe a little garlic powder, um, and I think that's what's helping the egg, the eggs stay more yellow. Um, so, something to be said for that, but um, let's go over to the table and taste and see what we think. All right, so we'll try the uh, competitor first. It, uh, I don't want, I don't want to dog on it, right? It tastes, it tastes good. What I will say is it doesn't taste healthy. It doesn't taste fresh, right? You can taste the sodium. You get the little salty ham chunks in there. And I'm not getting a lot of vegetables. It tastes mostly like cheesy eggs. It tastes like something that I'd get, um, you know, maybe late night at a diner. Uh, we're having the Denver scramble. Denver scramble sounds like something I might get at uh, Pete's diner late night. Uh, you know, eggs, cheese, and potatoes. So, in that regard, it does a good job, right? You get your you get your meat. If you're not a big vegetable lover, um, this might be perfect for you, right? Because it's mostly cheesy eggs and potatoes with the most basic of vegetables, and that's uh, you know onions and green peppers. Um, but overall, not bad. Uh, you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna dog on it when there's there's no need to dog on it. Certainly for taste. Um, the rooster and lark, this is my first time microwaving it, by the way. I've never uh, done this before. I didn't even try it before I filmed the video. Tastes very familiar. I eat it every day. Um, it tastes great. It tastes just like I did it up in the pan. I don't think there's any reduction in quality. Um, you know, I just bit into the avocado, it tasted soft. Like I was biting into a nice fresh avocado as if I cut it up in the pan. Um, I got my butternut squash. You know, my 
red bell peppers in there. And, ooh, it's hot. And it just tastes a lot fresher, a lot healthier. Because um, I am getting lots of vegetables uh, in each bite. One thing I noticed, I didn't add any salt to mine. So there is no added salt. And a lot of people do like a pinch of eggs in their salt. I mean, a pinch of salt in their eggs. Uh, and that's totally valid, you know. Um, ours doesn't come any salt. I think frozen food aisle is filled with way too much salt. So I chose to leave it out. And, um, you know, if that's something that's not for you, I get it. But, you know, we got no added sodium. This is really simple, healthy, good for you, fresh vegetables. And it's also very flavorful, as I mentioned. Garlic, cumin, paprika, chipotle powder, all in there. Um, so you do get a lot of flavor, but if you want that added salt, you got to add it yourself. Um, what are my ultimate conclusions? Uh, they're two very different products, right? One is for, um, you know people who are not vegetable lovers, and one is for people who love vegetables. And I think there's totally room for both of us in the market. Uh, so when you're choosing to decide, uh, I left my bag over there, but I got my sticker. You're choosing to decide between rooster and lark and uh, just crack an egg, um, I think it comes down to what do you like? If you like vegetables, if you like eating healthy, if you're watching your sodium and your fat, uh, you're probably going to choose rooster and lark. If that's not for you, you say, hey, I love my cheese. I love my sodium. All I want is meat, potatoes, and eggs. Um, then the aritas is for you. Um, I think there's room for both is the point I'm trying to make. But there are some very, very distinct differences. These are two wildly different products. Uh, they're only similar in Just Add Eggs concept, but in terms of ingredients and uh, quality and uh, you know quality of ingredients, nutrition, um, very very different products. So uh, that's my review of the two of the two two products side by side. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can see why um, you know it gives me a lot of hope when I see this product doing so well uh, because mine is. Um, Similar in concept, but very different in execution. And I think there's going to be a lot of people who would rather have mine um, than this Just Crack an Egg product. So that's all I got for today, Rooster Nation. Thanks for listening, and uh, I'll catch you next time. We'll see you.